Everybody, what's going on? Ah, Welcome to the ah, ah, Live ah, Australia ah, Q&A! Ah, yeah, you guys can clap in the back. Feel free to clap, over. everybody. No one. Yes. We like to start out with low energy, and then we go high. Uh, welcome, everyone. For the next 30 minutes, we're going to be taking your questions on YouTube and Facebook. And hello to Instagram over there in the corner. What? Oh, yeah, we got Instagram right. over there in the corner. Uh, hello, Instagram. We are here with Jose Arroyo, Mike Sweeney, Jesse Gaskell, and Conan O'Brien. Welcome, guys. Hi. Nice. Nice. The Australia crew. Hello, um, Internet. Conan, do you want to explain uh, very quickly about your hat? Uh, what's I think happening? the hat needs no explanation. <laughs> All right, fair enough. The hat uh, it covers was, his head. The yes. The hat was uh, purchased uh, in Sydney, Australia. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I wanted a hat that really said, "I'm here in Australia." So I, I got this hat. It's very crocodile Dundee. Uh, it's got the little crocodile teeth in it, and it's got dried uh, snake skin, and it's called uh, an Akubra. That's a uh, kind of hat that people, and uh, I wore it around the streets, and um, I looked like an asshole. Uh, <laughs> nobody wears these. Nobody a wears these. Asshole. Yeah, and nobody wears these in Australia. And I, I thought it was funny, and um, I'm still not sure, but I'm sticking with it. I'm one of those people who, when I, I double around. down on yes. things. So, uh, and guess what? No one wears these in Los Angeles. <laughs> Um, we're, we're taking your questions, and Waffle on Syrup on YouTube asks, Conan, why are you whiter than the suntan lotion? We went to a place called <laughs> the Cancer Council, yes. right. and you, uh, you, you did it up. You did it up. How was it, there's no ozone layer in Australia. Going into Australia, were you worried about your skin? Very worried. I have been warned in advance uh, that uh, it was going to be a different kind of climate. It is true the Australians make it very clear that there is a hole in the ozone layer above Australia. And as I pointed out in the special, they have kind of a cheery attitude about it, which I found confusing. They're like, hey, how long are you away? They got an ozone layer. Ah, I'm Rupert Murdoch. Uh, and um, it's very strange because uh, you have to really be careful there. Hence the hat. And I put on the most powerful sunblock they have in Australia, which I think is a 55 or a 60 SPF. Yeah. Um, from a giant jug. It comes jug. from. It comes in giant jugs yeah. there, and they have this slogan in Australia: "Slap it on, Slip, slip slap, it on, slap, right. slap it, yes. sloop it in, <laughs> slip it up." Uh, it sounds Ooh, like a, a, a sexual orgy. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, I, I did put it on, and yes, um, thank you for pointing that out. Waffle on syrup. That's right. That, uh, I uh, I thank am even want. whiter than the whitest cream you can apply. <laughs> to my body uh, I will but I will not mock your internet handle uh, <laughs> I'll leave that alone waffle on syrup uh, Ville Teleriver on Facebook for what it's worth says that hat is cool AF uh -huh. there thank you, you. Go. internet and I am DTF you know the, yeah. <laughs> oh, right? cool. oh, uh, this is um, this Australian is yeah thank you fashion. I actually yeah, I, I, I have to say fashion. I am sticking with this hat I love this hat and uh, it is now I think should be a part of every travel show. Absolutely. I think if we go to China, I should wear this hat. No. Yeah, what do you mean no? I think wherever we go, this hat should be an integral part. That's, that's right. Well, I, and speaking of the sun, we went to Bondi Beach, a very uh, uh, hugely famous beach, and partly famous because of the show Bondi Rescue. How did that come about? You three are the, the masters of uh, planning these trips. I think master <laughs> All right, fine. is an extreme word. I, I think it started when we were looking for, uh, to do things with a show that was down there, and yeah. the first thought was Shark Week, doing something oh, with sharks. Mm -hmm. And wow. um, when that couldn't uh, come together, we learned about Bondi Rescue. I think it the, couldn't come the together shark because said no. yeah, the, the shark <laughs> <laughs> tried to book a shark. Yeah, the, <laughs> said no. the shark really, uh, yeah, the shark really uh, was interested in meeting Ellen, and then uh, <laughs> found out that oh, it's that guy coming. <laughs> I'm good. We, we, we got a we got a uh, soft pass from the shark. Right. A soft it, pass. it was a hammerhead. <laughs> to get a soft pass from a hammerhead is we really used awful. Ellen Chum, which is. <laughs> Was there ever an, an idea? What would the shark? What would the shark idea have been? Did you ever go, go uh, that far down the road? Well, we Ooh, a, there was something with Jordan. We <laughs> oh, right. At one yes. point, well, we were going to get a, a Jordan dummy, cover a Jordan dummy, slather it. Right. Well, no, I what I 
Jesus. What I wanted to do was actually get Jordan. They told me we have an idea for Jordan and sharks. Yes. And they didn't tell me that they meant a dummy. I was thrilled. I thought that we were going to put Jordan in a provolone Speedo and lower him into shark-infested yes. waters. And I was the happiest I have been in 25 years of television. And then they were like, no, it's a dummy. I'm like, a dummy? What's the point of that? Well, that's how passive-aggressive you are. You can't just fire him. You have to, like... I'm going to put him in the water with a shark. And perhaps think, a shark will do the work I for I think him. PETA would have come after us for putting, <laughs> subjecting the sharks to that. We, uh, we did see some wildlife, though. We went to the Australia Wildlife Walkabout Park, yeah. mm -hmm. which was very cool. We, I remember us walking in, and I don't think any of us, maybe you guys realize, but the animals were just walking around. Like, yes. we walked in, and a kangaroo just yeah. hopped by us. Yeah, it they, was... the, and it's weird because uh, the animals are actually, I think, working the park. They... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a, ko a, koala <laughs> tore, a koala tore my ticket when I came in. and uh, um, But it was, the animals are just roaming. Wherever you go, the animals are just there. Yeah. And they are fascinating, and I love the energy. I have to say the energy of the koala. Gumnut. And yeah. gumnut, really, uh, who can forget gumnut? But <laughs> the, the just that slacker, sort of millennial <laughs> energy, the, how slowly he turns slow is hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> I love gumnut. It, it was mesmerizing. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, can oh, I, oh, go ahead. Real quick, uh, so there, we wanted to pet one of the kangaroos, a bunch of us on the crew, Yeah. and there was a kangaroo that had a cute little collar on its neck, and so a bunch of us went over to it and we were petting it, and afterwards... We asked the the ranger, oh, is it okay if we pet the kangaroos? And she said, yes, but just whatever you do, make sure you do not pet the one with the collar on its neck. <laughs> oh, my God. And that was the only one that we had to Why? Oh you I think that one, they were like, that one bites. And oh. that's, we put the cute collar to let everybody know that it's dangerous. <laughs> right, right. But right. it looked like that was the, the one that was domesticated. Oh, my God. Yeah. There, is, um, there was a lot of... Australia, of all the places we have been, I will say this about Australia... It's the place where the danger lecture beforehand <laughs> yeah. is the least yes. is the least merited. <laughs> Meaning they will sit you down and talk to you for twenty minutes about oh you gotta listen here. Yeah. You gotta be careful because it's it could, could go crazy remain perfectly still. Tonka the, the wombat. You know, the and wombat. then he, what's yeah. that? Tonka the wombat. Tonka the wombat. And then they go like here it comes and they pull the string and <laughs> the thing and you don't you see nothing. You just yes. see blackness and you hear a noise and then this incredibly Slurotic house cleaner. House cleaner. Yeah, like imagine the oldest, fattest cat you've ever seen that has like a, a day to live comes out and looks around. It's like sun is so bright. Oh, and it does nothing. That's and, true. You know, I was. They kept doing that in Australia, saying, "Watch out! Watch out!" Yeah. But of course, the flip side of that is they say, and you know, everybody goes to the beach, and. They're rescuing people at Bondi yes. every five seconds yeah. because the rip currents are so powerful there that, uh, and, and we were there in the short time we were there, I think they saved like eight lives. Yeah. Yeah. So, and no one, sh I mean, here in America, we'd shut down the beach. There they're like, everyone have a good time at the beach. <laughs> and, you know, we're, people are drowning left and right. And then they give you the big safety lecture when you're around the arthritic, yeah. old, dying animals. I like that way better. There are no yeah. lawsuits. Right, exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, I just go on. Just Kevin never... Newton, uh, the survival expert, gave right. us a huge uh, talking to about jack jumpers, these tiny little yeah. ants. He was scary. Ants. Yeah, it was, it was freaky. He was very scary, yeah. and he went into great detail about how we would die. Yeah. Yeah. and great detail about yes. how his wife crapped her pants when she got bitten yeah. he was so matter of fact about it it, yeah. it made it more yeah. chilling exactly. yeah. <laughs> just, uh, yes you, you could die yes when you guys uh, when you guys see uh, somebody like that are you just like yes we have to do less because you know he's going to be such a character or is it a little more challenging because in editing it, it's going to be harder to shape the piece I think it depends on the personality. You want someone who will play with Conan, and yeah. Conan can play off. And he was so serious about his stuff yeah. that it was great for Conan to find his moments that way. The, but the, somebody who shows off too much, 
might be yeah. you know right. not quite the fit. The best the best I mean you you just said it and it was the same thing I was thinking which is the in these travel shows what we're finding again and again and again and re, in remote segments in general mm-hmm. um, and this is something you can see in the room the remotes that are online now we've got all 25 years of yep Conan remotes, 25 Conan on Conan 25 and the remotes that always work the best whether it's old time baseball or uh, going to other countries and, and doing these travel shows is when people are very passionate about what they're doing and take it very seriously. That's where comedy can bounce the highest, I yeah. think. Every now and then we'll encounter someone who's very jokey about what they do. Right. Mm-hmm. And they're like, oh, I'm here with the comedian, so let's joke around. and have fake eyeballs. And yeah, they have, <laughs> exactly. Uh, you don't you need know. glasses. And, <laughs> Come on. Yeah, they, they brought props and stuff. Yes. And I, it um it never that's never as fun and we always move on pretty quickly. We, we're there for about five minutes and then we disassemble our cameras. Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're really funny. We're out of here. We want to find people that that uh, are deadly serious about what they do because that's more compelling. It's mm-hmm. much more compelling. Yeah, absolutely. But, but then we had a our our soccer uh, ma- manager Nick. Oh, Nick Davis. Yeah, yes. Yes. assistant manager. Really had a great sense of humor. Really dry. Just so dry. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. Our Everyone was good. Our Gab- slang Gabrielle. Expert, yeah. Oh, she was oh, fantastic. Yeah. They are. Uh, I want to say Australia. They're one of the. The people there are naturally, this is just what we experience naturally, yeah. very, very funny, mm-hmm. quick, um, sharp. And yeah, Nick, when we were shooting the footy, you know, the, the football, what is it called? Australian Rules, Australian Australian yeah. rules mm-hmm. Football. He had, he just had perfect timing. And he was someone who was a great combination. If he wasn't jokey, he was, but he, he, he was. Being very honest in assessing my body, dealing facts, yes, and 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 just uh, he was masterful. So, I mean, and Gab- yeah, Gabrielle was just great back back and forth. Oh perfect. my god, yeah. that, I think that's a one of our best. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. yeah, she was very funny. She um, and that's a very popular segment. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, on that. Oh yeah, yeah on, it's huge. Yeah, people that segment it. is huge. If you haven't seen it, uh, it's the beginning of the episode where I'm trying to learn uh, Australian slang, and Gabrielle is. I mean, first of all, literally hats off to Gabrielle because she uh, she was cr- just a great improviser and mm-hmm. funny, yeah. knowledgeable, but also went went with it, yeah, and um, and I also uh, you know very uh, just very magnetic personality yeah, yeah. yeah. She's, a, she's a star yeah and one thing I, th- I think I've always appreciated just as a fan not as your employee but is you've always said before you start a remote you explain to the person off camera uh, that you are the butt of the joke you are it's the like, jokes on you it's never on them and I uh, on that note Chloe does it on YouTube says Conan you're courageous for being yourself you help the younger generation in being ourselves and That's I thought nice the Sydney Swan thing is a great example of you just going full I'm an ass. I mean like you were up for getting tackled, you were up for, you know, putting on a crazy I think this bravest thing I did, and maybe the bravest thing I've done so far in any travel show, is wear those very short shorts. <laughs> <laughs> because With those my socks. legs uh, yeah are um are a freak show and uh to 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 wear legs that are that short, uh, to wear uh, shorts that are that short took. Um, I saw them, and there was a second of me thinking, I really don't want to put those on. But I pushed through. I put them on, and then to see those long, white uh, stems <laughs> moving around in the remote, I think uh, brought a, a joy to a lot of people out there with body issues. I, and I think uh, there's a lot of my comedy. Which is um, people watching it, and they can feel like, you know what? I don't feel so bad about myself anymore. <laughs> I will leave the house today. Yeah, I will leave the house today because I have doing it. I have some musculature <laughs> on my thighs. Um, there doesn't. was another player who tackled Conan. Yes, and yes. he oh. really viciously took oh you down, God. and we're like, that's going to be great. We came back, three cameras. <laughs> All block. There was someone standing someone in front, standing in front, and front of the blocked. tackle. Yeah, 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 yeah. Every time. And you can that, never redo that stuff because it would never be. The that same. does happen, and I yeah. you can really. get frustrated in the moment, but um, we do have 
uh, tip of the cap to our crew, you yes. know, um, they're, they're spectacular cameramen. They're lifting yeah. these giant cameras. Yeah. And in the moment, sometimes you'll get frustrated if they miss, they, they hardly ever miss anything. Uh, no, yes. very rarely. But yeah, of course, um, when I got tackled that hard, right. uh, and I could feel um, my chest cavity collapse and, <laughs> and fill with blood, I thought, at least we have the footage of that we have that's some gonna, of the blood. We, that's gonna. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we have the MRI afterwards, right. but at least we have some footage of that, and then to find out later on that oh no, we don't have right. that. Um, but yeah. so what? All Just for us. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Joan on Facebook says, "Still loving you, Conan, despite the shorty shorts." Uh, and Celeste on Facebook asks, uh, "What was the funniest moment amongst the crew on the trip besides us seeing Conan get tackled and it not making the show? What was the funniest? Uh, anything spring to mind?" I've got oh, I, have, I yeah. got a possibility. Well, I don't know if it's the funniest, but something that really amused me is uh, Jeff Ross, our producer. <laughs> uh, we were staying in this hotel that's right there on the water across from the Sydney Opera House, and we would that's where we would meet up early in the morning and have our coffee and sort of try and wake up and say, okay, here's what we got to do today. And, um, of course, what it looks out on is these giant cruise ships. A different cruise ship oh, every day yeah. would park there. Oh, yeah. And if you know, if you've seen the show, I'm always kind of making fun of our producer, Jeff Ross, because he's a man of few words. I sort of have him, you know, he sort of talks like this. He doesn't say that much. He doesn't get excited about much. You know, the craziest thing will happen. He'll be like, well, that happened. Let's go. Yeah. And you'll be like, wait a minute. No, a meteor a meteor just crashed, and, and it hit, and, and it awoke an ancient dinosaur. Did you see that? And he'd be like, yep, that happens sometimes. Meteors, dinosaurs, what are you going to do? And so, so you know, he was like, what are you going to do? You know, and he's got that. And so we, he has seen everything. He's, and he's, I managed he's, Diana Ross. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He's, he's, he's unimpressed. He's like, saw stuff go down in the 70s yeah. and he's he lived he's lived through it all and we're always being like wow well, wasn't that crazy you'd be like oh you know whatever that happens you know and you'd be like no that doesn't happen that guy just burst into flames it can happen you know <laughs> but every day it was really funny because a new cruise ship would pull in into the harbor and jeff suddenly became a kid yeah he was so excited about cruise ships and what he would do is he would look at the name of the cruise ship and look it up so he was always up earlier than we are yes we'd come stumbling down to get our coffee and he's there and be and he'd and he'd be like guys check it out look at that <laughs> you know, made of the sea did you see made of the sea and we're like huh oh yeah yeah it's a cruise ship he'd be like oh, capacity 45,000 45, but guess what there's a crew of 1100 that work on yeah. just on one deck only guess what guess what you know it has a they eat 800 hams on that ship a day 800 hands. You think we can get on that ship? Wouldn't it be cool if they let us blow the whistle on that ship? And you're like, Chef! It can hold up to 12 dinosaurs. Yeah. <laughs> Suddenly. And then the next day, a new cruise ship. Yeah. Guys, guys, check it out. <laughs> I looked it up. This one was made in Norway. Not many are made in Norway. All right, whatever. It looks like the same one yesterday. It looks like the same one, but it isn't the same one. Very sad you guys go ahead without me today. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm he here. I'm looking up uh, how many loaves of rye they have on that bread. <laughs> and he was obsessed with uh, seeing how it was going to back up. Did he ever yes. see oh, it yeah. leave? He was I, obsessed with he, he how it was getting tested. He did, right? He, he saw one leave, leave and that was And that was, was it. Come back. That was yeah. it. Yeah. That's a wrap, right? That's it. Yeah. We're done. That was he, it. He did, yeah, he saw one. He, he was obsessed with seeing one pull out. Yes, and yes. And then yes. depart. And then he finally did. And then he, he told me that uh, he didn't need to live any longer. <laughs> That's it. Uh, I want to mention something else. It's just a total crazy coincidence for you. This is behind the scenes stuff um, that I find kind of fascinating and it keeps happening and I just want to put it out there in the universe for some reason and I don't know why our paths when we travel on these travel shows keep converging with the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> yes. wow. and, uh, so Berlin, right. we were when we did our Berlin travel show, we're at the mm. hotel and then someone just said, I think the Chili Peppers are here and sure enough, they come in, <laughs> oh hi, we chat with them, we, we you know, whatever. And then we're in Australia. We're not there for that long. We're, it's the first time we're there. We're in Sydney. And who comes crashing through the door but yeah. in our hotel? Yeah. The Red Hot Chili Peppers. Yeah, Anthony Kiedis. Yeah, yeah Anthony Kiedis. And I'm chatting with him. And I'm, and I'm thinking, what is going on? Yeah. And I started to ask them, yeah. is are you guys waiting to see where we're going <laughs> to decide where you're going to perform? Or is it maybe someone in our group who's obsessed with the Chili Peppers? But... I just want to see how many more times we check into our... I mean, I yes. really do think we yeah. could show up 
in uh, Guam <laughs> and and check into the Holiday Inn there. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Flea would be there. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. The chat's in the corner, yeah. yeah. But I think, I think you even also said uh, that you would run into, uh, I think it was Anthony Kiedis, in, in L.A., like two weeks before we were in Australia. So yeah, at a like sushi restaurant. Here. Yeah, at a sushi restaurant. Right, right. Yeah. It's just like, it's crazy. I just, I mean, not, and I don't see celebrities. Trust me, I don't see them on my show. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you join the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Maybe this is, yeah. I don't see them. In, I don't see them much. And uh, for some reason, I cannot, they're probably going to walk into this room any yeah. minute now. Exactly. Because they've got to. here tonight. Yeah. yeah. You know what would be great? It, Jeff, it would make Jeff happy if you and the Chili Peppers did a cruise ship. <gasps> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, Isn't this been. great? Oh, you know, we really wanted to get Jeff a little sailor cap. <laughs> <laughs> I was obsessed with. That's the hat that we needed to get. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, speaking of rock, you did a little rock and roll. You did a live show, Conan and his Australian friends. With? Uh, uh, I want to make sure we give a shout out to yeah. uh, the Reese. members of our band. Well, uh, first of all, oh, the, the, sorry, the, the comedians. Yeah, Steen Riscopoulos, uh, Becky Lucas, and uh, Reese Nicholson. Right. Reese Hilarious. Nicholson, who looks like, um, you know, like someone tried to clone me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's and, true. Yeah. And improved upon me. Uh, he's a younger, uh, sort of uh, more sculpted version of me. Dapper, very dapper. They were, yes. they, they were terrific. They They're were three great. really funny comedians yep, and each funny. very different. And it was a joy working with them. And um, I really loved the way Steen opened the show. He was very yes. creative about working with the crowd and creating these scenarios. Yeah. Um, there's, I mean, obviously such an impressive group of comedians and, and comic talent in Australia. Absolutely. There, there really is, uh, it's just a, a, a powerhouse. I was very impressed with yeah. them and they really helped. They got the show started and did a brilliant job. And then, um, I came out and did some foolishness and then it ended with, uh, a musical portion and I, I want to thank uh the members of uh my band that came along i mean that's a lot to ask of these guys to yeah. come all the way to sydney for this one date yeah for literally yeah for like a, yeah, yeah, yeah but but uh scott healy came and james wormworth and mike, mike came and mike, mike, mike yeah. yeah mike merritt came and uh i'm just you know so happy when i can connect with those guys and play music uh even if um you know i'm holding them back a little bit <laughs> <laughs> but mostly it was yeah. it was it was really fun to uh to i've always been fascinated with the vocal stylings of acdc <laughs> and uh and to try and sing that uh was really was really a fun that was great yeah it it it, it killed and then we did a little skippy the bush kangaroo as well right. <laughs> which yeah, was we, great we always do i mean i give it these Frank, these guys do the worst. Uh, Frank, Frank, Frank Smiley. Frank Smiley. Frank Smiley. Frank Smiley. Yeah. Frank Smiley, yeah. who uh, is uh, has been with me since uh, since day one, um, and is a really funny guy and uh, producer on the show. But he's the one that he's really good, like a detective. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what you three yeah. do it. And then Frank will also always find this thing that where we're thinking, "What are you talking about?" And he's like, "No, no." Skippy the bush kangaroo, they'll go nuts if you bring it up. And so there's a show there. In the it was, yeah, so it's like, like Flipper. Flipper, yeah. or, their version you know. of Flipper. And so they uh, they really um, lost their minds when we when, mm -hmm. when we uh, worked Skippy into it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was that was incredible. And kind of speaking uh, of music a little bit more, you talked to Briggs, Adam Briggs, who is. Um, a, a member of the uh, Yoda Yoda uh, Yorda Yorda Nation, and we did a uh, Welcome to Country smoke ceremony. Yeah, the yeah. National Center yeah. of Indigenous Excellence, and that was really cool. He's a comedy writer, and you found out something cool about him. Well, uh, first of all, I found yeah. out that he, you know, I go all the way to Australia, yes. and I'm talking to someone who is part of the Indigenous uh, community, yeah. and I'm he's an activist, and I'm he's, thinking yeah. I'm going to span this huge. You know, I, I'm really interested in, in spanning this giant chasm between what, what my experience and his experience, and we're we're going to come together, and there couldn't be two more different people, and 
He's, he worked for Matt Groening. <laughs> so I'm like, and then within, like, within seconds, and he's like, oh, yeah, and here's my crusty, the, the clown tattoo. Yeah. I'm like, oh, okay, all right. Yeah, I know I work with Matt Groening, too. And, yeah. Yep. And, um, see you back in L.A. Yeah, yeah see you. Right, yeah, exactly. See you back in the, at the Fox bungalow. With Anthony Kiedis, right, exactly. Um, but uh, he uh, is very talented, yep. very funny, and, and what was fascinating about that segment was... Um, how, I mean, really learning so much about the indigenous culture yes. that existed in Australia long before any settlers came and how diverse it was. And I remember he told us, uh, he was explaining to us, and, and they were explaining to us at the center. Yeah. They, uh, I think a, a woman there showed me this map mm -hmm. of Australia yes. yeah. and that there are something like 300 and... Over, th yes. like Three to five hundred. Three to five hundred uh, nations. Nations. Tribal nations. Tribal nations, all with distinct languages and customs. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I was blown away by that. It was yes. a very interesting ceremony. Yeah. They were very welcoming, and it was nice to see that. It was nice to see that people are working so hard to preserve those cultures and also make them bring them into today that's one of the things briggs is doing is that it's not yeah. oh let's let's go look through the dusty old books and explore this this culture yeah he's using rap he's using animation he's doing all of this uh, great work and and vital work and art that's relevant now it's alive yeah it links yeah which totally. i thought yeah you know Amazing. Yeah, and, and shout out to the uh, Nampa elder, Uncle Graham, Uncle uh, Graham King, King, who mm -hmm. uh, did this amazing smoke ceremony. Right. And it actually kind of started to rain a little bit. And, you know, from a production perspective, we were all kind of worried, yes. like, oh, no. But then they said it was a blessing. They, they were like... A lucky yeah. thing. Yeah, it ended up had being... Had it rained during the ceremony. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we fell for it. <laughs> <laughs> we, fell. we later saw a, a rain machine <laughs> used in... Uh, used a lot in the film <laughs> The Notebook. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Here's the blessing. They uh, rented it out. <laughs> um, well, half of these questions you guys are asking is the question uh, we always get, which uh, is, where, where are we, we going, going next? next? Where are we going next? We, we have ideas. Always, we don't yeah. know. I guess what? that's up to the Red Hot Chili Peppers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. right. Just flee. Google their touring. Yes, yeah. Flea, let us know. Yeah. We'll be at the, yeah. <laughs> the Denver Centrum. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> we're just going to start doing <laughs> travel shows. Like, <laughs> Yeah, why are you in Thousand Oaks, California? <laughs> Chili peppers, man. This got... afternoon. <laughs> yeah, this afternoon. Let's put it up. Um, uh, it, no, uh, and you know, uh, the, yeah. the um, just to make sure that we we get the word out and credit goes to where it really should. The there's so much work that goes into these travel shows before I ever get involved, and so. It's the people on the couch. I don't know their names. Um, <laughs> and Jason Chalemi as well. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. Yes, Jason Chalemi. Uh, but but these guys work very hard at uh, drilling down and, and finding, doing a, so much legwork. And we have a lot of meetings before we go. And what we really want is we want the travel shows to look effortless and to look just like a fun adventure. But there's so much work that goes into the beforehand so yeah. that we are making sure that we're only there for a week. So that's happening right now with a few countries. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been invited to some countries, which is always exciting. Yeah. And uh, we are going to make a decision, I think, pretty soon because we have to get back to work and, and do the... Get visas. Yeah, vi yeah, we have to get visas. Yeah. And I mean, when Shots. do you think we have to decide by? Jesse, uh, I, I'd like to decide later. When's real yeah. power? Yeah, you want to know right yeah. away, don't you? You should start planning my wardrobe. That's right. <laughs> yeah. That's true. Yep. All right. Well, um, before we go, uh, we just want to thank you guys for joining us, and also thank you to Instagram. Somebody was asking what your shirt says on Instagram. Oh, uh, this is. I just threw this on this morning. This is oh, my is third. This whole thing? It's right. a third oh, man yeah. record shirt. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you know, just and I think a, the Rock on Tours. They're back with, on tour. Uh, are back on tour yeah. and oh, Jack, wow. oh, Jack yeah. White. Uh, awesome. I got a message from him the other day, and he was on a plane to I think Aus to Australia. Whoa! So awesome. uh, I don't know if they're there now. They might be, or they may have moved on already. But um, 
But if he's still there, good on you, Jack. <laughs> um, that, Look out for those uh, uh, the wombats. <laughs> no yeah. one says, you know what we learned yeah. about yeah, Australia? Really we've been scammed. Because <laughs> all we've been told is, Forster's lad. <laughs> you know, look out for that. You know, the sharks. Shrimp on the barbie. It's prawn on the barbie and no one drinks Foster's water. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Exactly. Nobody. And nobody wears... But, but look out for the shark. Yes, no, so look out for yes, the shark. And that's... nobody wears this hat. Exactly. Except uh, me now. Well, thank you guys for joining us. And thank you, of course, to Jose, Mike, Jesse, Conan O'Brien. You can watch it all if you haven't seen it already. Teamcoco.com slash Australia. And who knows where we're going next? Tweet Stop at yelling. Us. Don't yell. Sorry. We're in a small room. <laughs> they can hear you. At I'm the here. end, he gets loud <laughs> and says, like you don't know what will be next. Thank you guys for joining us. We will see you soon. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.